at work, it's sort of been a recent thing of coming out to them and telling them my pronouns. They're all sort of getting used to that, so they get it wrong a lot. <laughs> I have to correct them a lot. It's been a new process in terms of coming out to my family and, and things like that, so they're the same, still getting used to it, still getting used to my name um, and my pronouns. And they sort of asked a lot of questions and I've just answered those and sort of going from there. That's been a very recent thing. Um, we had a massive discussion. It took about three hours of them just asking me loads of things and yeah, that was that. I feel like had I known earlier on about different gender identities, um, about gender in general, I would have recognised my feelings sooner because how I feel about my body, the things I feel uncomfortable with, I felt that for my entire life. I just, I never knew what it was. At the beginning, um, I knew one person from the university that um, identified as non-binary. And when they told their story, I sort of connected with it a bit but not fully. I don't think I would have understood a lot that I do understand if it weren't for the internet. The internet's probably learnt me more about myself than school ever taught me. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the internet, people just speak so openly about how they feel um, and the sort of spaces on the internet where you're sort of doing that free of judgment, but there were also a lot of places where people aren't very nice. <laughs> um, and so it can be a bad thing in, in that way because people are very judgmental, especially at the moment um, about trans people, non-binary people. Um, there's a lot of hate out there, but at the end of the day, no one's going anywhere. Everyone exists, so and no one's going to stop being themselves just because someone doesn't agree with it. <laughs> uh, in my opinion, I, I always just think, you know, I'm never going to police someone else's identity. Um, I'm not in your head, so I can't tell you how you feel. You, you tell me you feel a certain way, then I'm going to accept that. Um, a lot of the, the trans community is quite divided in some ways. They want to tell each other, you know, this is what it means to be trans and you need to be like this and if you're like this then you're not trans and I'm more trans than you. It's just, it's kind of ridiculous for the fact that outside of the community there are a lot of people that want to say, no, I don't believe you exist, you're not valid and yet we do that to each other. People need to understand that masculinity doesn't equal being a man and femininity doesn't equal being a woman. People are all sorts of <laughs> in-betweens and, and mixes of things. I feel had I known from school about gender then, then I would have I would have known a lot earlier and it would have been a lot better for me. So I think it's really important to let children know about things and so they can understand themselves.